Hello everyone. Welcome back to the online spoken English class. In our last module, we have learned about the prepositions at and on. In this module, we shall learn about the prepositions in and into. Let us talk about the usage of the preposition in. Look at the picture. The preposition in is used to refer to the position when an object or a person is within a well-defined area or an enclosed space. Can you tell me what is an enclosed space? Well, an enclosed space is surrounded by the walls, objects or something. Okay? For example, we use the preposition in with the enclosed spaces. And the enclosed spaces could be an office, a church, a library, etc. We use in with car, taxi, space, deserts, forests, mountain ranges, etc. Like we say in the Himalayas because it is a range of mountains. But for a single mountain peak, we use the preposition on. We say on Mount Everest. Okay? The preposition in is also used with liquids and other substances to show what they contain. For example, put more sugar in the coffee. We use the preposition in with towns, cities, states, countries and continents. For example, Ayush lives in Agra. We use in with large areas also. Like we say in the universe, in the world, etc. For example, Mount Everest is the highest mountain peak in the world. But sometimes it is noticed that people say Mount Everest is the highest mountain peak of the world. It is incorrect. Then we use in with print medium also. Like we say in the book, in the magazine, in the newspaper, etc. Okay? Let us know where to use the preposition at and where to use the preposition in when we are talking about two places in one sentence. Look at the sentences now. For example, I said, I live in Ashok Nagar. I live in Prayagraj. I live in India. So Ashoknagar is a place in Prayagraj and Prayagraj is a city in India. Suppose if I am in another city and want to tell about the two places mentioned here in one sentence, then I will use the preposition at with the place which is smaller than the other and the preposition in with the place which is bigger. 
Now let us look at the last two sentences. I will say, I live at Ashoknagar in Prayagraj. I live at Prayagraj in India. So in the first sentence, the preposition at is used with Ashoknagar and the preposition in is used with Prayagraj because Ashoknagar is a smaller place than Prayagraj. Similarly, in the next sentence, at is used with Prayagraj and in is used with India because Prayagraj is a smaller place than India. Okay? Got that? Let's read. I am reading the sentences. Please pay attention to the pronunciation of each word and repeat after me. Do you live in Canada? Have you kept the sword in the cupboard? Can you take a seat in the waiting room, please? There are billions of stars in the universe. When did you arrive in Australia? I am saying few words. Please repeat after me. Canada. Canada. Sword. Sword. Cupboard. Cupboard. Universe. Universe. Australia. Australia. Now we will discuss the difference between the preposition in and the preposition in to because it is confusing at times. Let us understand the difference between the prepositions in and into with the help of these examples. Look at the picture. The boy is in the room. It shows the position of the boy inside the room. There is no movement. Now look at another picture. The boy is coming into the room. The preposition into indicates the movement of the boy from somewhere else towards the inside of this room. There is movement and change in the location. Please note the preposition into is also used to indicate transformation or change. For example, the ice has changed into water. This is a correct sentence. The ice has changed in water. This is an incorrect sentence. Okay? Let us recapitulate. In this module, 
we have learnt about the usage of the prepositions in and into. We have also learnt the difference between in and into. Thank you.